Developing now, the search is on for a gunman who shot and wounded a 15-year-old boy on his way to school. CBS 2's Chris Ty is live in South Chicago. Chris, that neighborhood erupted in gunfire. That's right, Brad. It was just after 8 this morning when 16 shots were fired at that 15-year-old boy. He was just trying to get up north to Hyde Park for high school on this Wednesday. Instead, he's at Comer Children's Hospital right now. That traffic diamond right there, here at the end of the 9,000 block of Brandon, signals it's a dead-end street. And for neighbors like Martha Del Rio, that typically provides comfort. It's good because, you know, even if, if somebody's speeding, they can't just leave. But today, that traffic barricade on the north end of this street didn't stop a gunman from firing more than a dozen times. A chilling 8 a.m. wake up for a community that was simply trying to get kids to class. I was actually sleeping when I heard the gunshots. The boy in the school uniform was treated right in front of Lisette Alicia's home. He was going to school. Well, right there, he right there. I guess he you know he left all his stuff, his notebook and stuff. So I'm like, mate, I was like, man, this is this is crazy. Like Chicago needs to stop killing people. This is the most violent acts I ever I ever seen on this block. And it's crazy. 30 blocks north, squad cars outside Hyde Park Academy High School, which was supposed to be the final destination today for that 15 year old, where tonight that gunman still has not been found. Meantime, back on Brandon. It's happened around the corner, it's happened two blocks down, it's happened, you know, next block, but not here in our actual block. Gunfire is nothing new. Neighbors say a half dozen windows have been shot out in recent months, but a teenager gunned down. That's a line they never wanted crossed, and some say the youngest residents are too rattled to even step outside. My kid will not come outside for a while. Because of today? Because of today. Three quick notes here. This is not a safe passage route for Chicago school children. Two, this is not a case where they have video to work with. And three, at last check, still no suspect from Chicago police. Live on the south side tonight, Chris Ties, CBS2 News.